Hi friends, welcome to Azure Content. So this is part 3 in common errors in ADF playlist. In this video, we are going to learn how to mitigate this error called the expression cannot be evaluated because property does not exist. So let's move ahead and understand everything clearly. So sometimes what happens is uh, we try to use the result set of previous activity in the subsequent activity right so usually with the help of lookup activity what we do is we try to get the result set uh, of the data set using something called lookup activity right so lookup activity is used to retrieve the data within the data set right so suppose this lookup activity is meant to give the output of 10 records in the json format so after this, what we try to do is we use this lookup activity in the next subsequent activities, maybe for each activity or maybe set variable activity. So suppose we are using this result set in a for each activity, right? So there we use this expression to refer to the output of lookup activity. The expression is activity lookup dot output dot value. So this is what we use in the next subsequent activity to uh, use the result set of lookup activity but sometimes we may get this error uh, that is the expression activity lookup dot output dot value cannot be evaluated because property value does not exist available properties are first row and effective integration runtime and other properties as well so this is not only in the case of lookup activity but but if you want to refer to any of the previous activities and if we do not write the expression correctly in order to retrieve the result set of previous activity then we may land up with similar kind of error the properties present here may be changed on the basis of activity to activity but similar kind of uh, error you may face with other activities as well so in this video we will use lookup activity for demo purpose but you may apply the same workaround to mitigate this issue with other activities as well okay so let me go to ADF uh, portal and here I have a pipeline and you can see uh, we have a lookup activity and then we are using set variable activity okay to look for the result set of the lookup activity. So here we are using this expression called activity lookup dot output dot value but if you see in the last debug run the pipeline has not succeeded uh, the set variable activity is failing with the issue. Uh, that is expression cannot be evaluated because property value does not exist and available properties are these okay so basically before writing the expression we need to check what are the available properties in the output json of the previous activity that we are referring to okay so here if i go into the output of lookup activity you can see there is no such property called value the only properties available are first row then effective integration runtime billing reference and duration in queue okay so these are the available properties the reason behind this is whenever we drag and drop the lookup activity in a pipeline so if i try to do the same thing in a new pipeline you can see in the settings there is something called first row only and this property is always checked by default so if you want the entire data set results then this property needs to be unchecked because this is mean, meant to give only the first row or first record results okay so this property usually works as select top one star from the table which will only retrieve the first record out of the data set okay so uh, if you see the output clearly in this output json there is only single record in the json format so in json format always the data gets stored in the form of key value pair right so this is how a json stores its value so in the curly braces we will have key and then semicolon and then it will have the value okay so in this output json first row is the key and this entire thing is the value of this output json so you need to write the expression according to your requirement so suppose if i want to retrieve only the name property within this first row then my expression will be like activity output dot first row dot name and that will give me this uh, output that is Sachin Tendulkar okay so let me copy this JSON first and keep it a handy in a notepad so now in this set variable I will remove 
this value and here I will click on this activity output. So here you can see activity lookup dot output. This expression basically refers to this entire JSON. If I want to retrieve only name, then I will write output dot first row dot name. Okay. So if I click on OK and if I hit on debug, this variable var would be assigned with the name Sachin Tendulkar. Okay. Let's wait. So you can see it has succeeded and this variable has been assigned with this value Sachin Tendulkar. Okay. Now similarly, instead of name, if I want to store uh, suppose country in this variable, then the expression would change instead of first row dot name, I would change it to country, right? So now if I hit on debug, uh, the variable output will change to the country name and the output should give India as the uh, value. Okay, so you can see India is coming as the value. Now similarly, if I want to store the entire JSON which is present in the first row property, then I will simply remove this dot country and this first row uh, whatever it holds should be coming up in the output of set variable. So let's see. but it has failed. Let's see the uh, error. So it says the variable var of string cannot be initialized or updated with value of type object. The variable var only supports va uh, values of type string. If you see the variable data type is a string, but the uh, value which we are trying to set into this variable is a JSON that is an object. Okay. So what we need to do is in this expression, we need to convert the object value into a string value. So how can we do that? We can either simply give this function called string. Okay. Or what we can do is we can use curly braces, which is also called string interpolation and it will convert the value into string format. Okay. So if I hit on debug now, we are expecting that the entire JSON which is present in the first row property will be stored in this variable. Okay. So let's wait for this execution to be completed. Yeah. So pipeline execution is completed. Let's see what is the output. Yeah. So you can see the entire JSON is getting stored in the string format within this variable. Okay. Now this is the case when we are just having first row as the lookup output. Now if you check this table. Uh, we are having dbo.players table in the SQL uh, database and if we preview the data in the table, we are having total uh, 5 records in the table. But because of this first row only option, we are getting only the first record of this uh, table as the JSON format. If we uncheck this first row only option, we will get the entire 5 records as the output in the form of an array. So let's debug only till lookup activity and let's see the output here. Yeah. So lookup has succeeded. Let's check the output. So you can see, so we have a new property called count, which was not present when first row was checked. And then we have this property called value. So first row property is not present anymore. And if you see clearly, this is holding the JSON in the form of array because we have multiple JSONs within this value. Okay. So suppose if I want to refer to the name of second row of this table, then the expression I would write is activity output dot value and in this value we will be having an index which is zero based index which means the first row will be uh, denoted as zero index, second row would be denoted as one, third row as two and so on. So if we want to refer to the name property of the second row then here we will give one and then dot name okay and here we will end up with the value Yuvraj Singh okay so let's try this out so I would give output dot value one dot name okay so let me copy this entire JSON and keep it handy here so and let me remove this debug point and in this set variable, instead of first row, as we have seen, there is no property called first row. Now the property is called value. So here we will give value. And since value is an array, so we have to give 
into this format which is a zero based index so if we give zero it will uh, denote this first record okay if we give one it, it means we refer to this second record okay and then dot name okay so dot name so now we are predicting that if we run this uh, pipeline it will give the output as yuvraj singh okay so let's try it out so the pipeline execution is in progress let's wait so lookup has succeeded let's wait for set variable activity yeah it has succeeded let's check the output we can see the output is coming as expected now similarly suppose if i want to uh, get the uh, contact of uh, this fourth record one two three four fourth record then instead of four uh, due to zero based indexing we have to give the index as three and then dot contact okay so let's change the uh, expression here so instead of name i would give contact and here as we are referring to fourth record we will give three because of zero based indexing so let's wait we, we are expecting that it should give 4000 as the output okay so let's wait yeah so execution is completed so you can see 4000 is the correct uh, expectation and if you want to store the entire array uh, in this variable then simply we just need to remove this property and if we give uh, some index it will particularly give this uh, result set of the json in string format so this will be the output so we can check that uh, if we run with value 3 then the entire json having id name country and contact of this particular record will be uh, coming as the output so you can see this is what we are getting and if we want the entire array then what we need to do is we need to remove this indexing okay we just need to point to this value property so let's wait we are expecting that it will give the entire array result in the string format because we have used string interpolation here so let's see yeah so the execution is finished let's check the output so you can see the entire array which is having the five records is coming as the output so from here till here it is the first json then from here till here it is the second json and then this is the third json then this is the fourth json and this is the last that is fifth json okay so this is the entire array which is uh, converted into string with the help of string interpolation and that is getting stored in this variable now if we want to refer to the count property here you can see uh, we have the count of the table then simply we need to use output dot count which will give us 5 as the value so instead of value property we need to give count and it will give 5 as the output let's hit on debug and see the same let's wait for the pipeline execution to be completed so yeah so execution is completed let's check the output so you can see 5 is coming as the output so we are good now suppose instead of set variable let me cut this set variable activity and instead of that if we use for each activity and if we try to iterate through each of the records available as the output of lookup activity in this for each then here in in the items we need to uh, point to this output dot value since this value property holds the entire array of result set of this lookup right and now inside this for each i am going to paste the set variable activity and instead of lookup output let me give item as the value of this set variable so now what will happen is for each of the iteration it will pick up each of the records one by one so for the first iteration this will be the item value for the second iteration this json will be the item value for third iteration this will be the item value for fourth this one will be the item value and for fifth this one will be the item value so now if i debug this pipeline the set variable activity will have five iterations that means five execution and each of the set variable output will have this particular json okay so let's try to debug this pipeline and let's see and let's see the output so let's wait okay so it has failed you can see it is giving the same error 
that we have already seen here instead of just at the at the rate item we have to give the string interpolation because uh, actually it is getting object as the output right and the variable expects uh, string as the output so let's wait now yeah so this time we are not getting any error so you can see uh, for each of the iterations we are getting the json value in the variable okay so we are getting five iterations for set variable activity you can see that right and suppose if i want to only retrieve the name property for each of the iterations then simply here instead of item i will just write item dot name okay so now if we debug and let's wait so we are expecting that out of this table all the names that is Sachin Tendulkar, Yuvraj Singh, Virat Kohli, KL Rahul and Mahindra. So we will be getting these as the output of set variable. So let's wait. So you can see again we have five iterations and you can see the name of each of the players are coming as the output now. So yeah. So basically for this error we just need to check what is the available properties in the previous activity which we are trying to refer in the subsequent activity and we just need to use it wisely. So if you are trying to refer to the value property of lookup then make sure that first row option in the lookup is disabled and make sure to use string interpolation in order to mitigate the issue. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you find this video helpful. Please hit on like button and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it yet. Thank you.